Layer 2 blockchains have now reached over $20 billion in total value locked. It's clear that Layer 2 blockchains are the future to scaling Ethereum and Web3 as a whole. But even as we enter 2024, there's almost no interoperability between these L2s. What this means is both users and developers are forced to make a tough decision on what communities they want to be a part of. To interact with the experiences on one L2 requires you to bridge your funds across, which has no utility on any of the other L2s out there. What if there was a way that users could interact with these Web3 experiences across all different kinds of L2 chains, regardless of where they started? Here at Polygon Labs, we're excited today to introduce what we're calling the aggregation layer, or just the ag layer for short. The ag layer enables atomic transactions and cross-chain interoperability between layer twos while allowing these chains to maintain their sovereignty. Now that's a lot of big words. To understand what this really means, we first need to understand how layer twos operate today. Today, most L2 chains operate their own sequencer. And a sequencer processes the transactions that occur on the L2 and posts the transaction data back to a smart contract living on Ethereum L1. But because each individual chain operates their own sequencer and their own roll-up contract on Ethereum, they have no way of being interoperable with each other. For users, this means their funds on one L2 can't be used to perform operations on any other L2s. And for developers, it means they're forced to tap into just a portion of the Web3 audience out there by selecting a single chain to run their application on. The ag layer works by sitting in between each of these L2s and the Ethereum L1. Instead of each chain posting the proofs or transaction data directly back to Ethereum, they post it instead to the aggregation layer, which accepts all of this information from each of these chains. And as the name suggests, it aggregates them all together and posts a single zero knowledge proof back to Ethereum that reflects all of the information that came from any of the L2s. Now the ag layer is going to roll out in several phases. The ag layer is going to support both a unified bridge as well as this proof aggregation process that we've just described. This means that any chains that opt into the ag layer, such as those from the Polygon CDK community, will be part of this proof aggregation process. We'll soon have updates to come that release future iterations of this ag layer that support both asynchronous cross-chain transactions as well as atomic cross-chain interactions. These future releases will unlock awesome new features for you as a user and a developer to do things like purchase NFTs on one chain using tokens that you earned on another chain without having to bridge back and forth between Ethereum. This is just one step of our journey to achieve the vision of Polygon 2.0 of unified liquidity and unlimited scalability. Head over to the blog linked in this tweet to find out more.